2012, for the love of Christ and all that is holy, please do not let any more Twilight movies ever become possible. Seriously, you bitches should be ashamed of yourselves teaching young girls to commit bestiality or necrophilia. Have you child molesters any shame? Robert Pattinson, Internet Movie Database says you're an excellent musician playing both the guitar and piano. Judging from the major diss from Entertainment Weekly regarding Breaking Dawn, I'd say you're really the master of the skin flute and male organ. Just saying. There's a reason why the parody is called Vampires Suck. It's actually a true story about your performance, or lack thereof. Even Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise want to kick your lily ass for giving true vampires a bad name. Proof is in the pudding. Note to Robert, you might actually want to take a look at True Blood. At least the dudes on there don't sparkle like a bad Christmas ornament that was made by a child. <laughs> Dear 2012, I want you to be the year that all those apocalyptic assholes can finally SHUT THE FUCK UP! Seriously, how could the world end in 2012 if Marty McFly traveled to the year 2015? I mean, I've heard of leap years, but come on. It's time for this round-the-clock bullshit to uh, clock out. Uh-oh, I guess I better watch it with these puns, huh? <laughs> Dear 2012, please be the year that... Oh, shut up! Did I hear someone say shut up? You little fucking... You know what would really help your performance? Two Prozacs and a bag over your head. Yeah? You're so fucking ugly, you could be Rosie O'Donnell's pubic hair. Or her face, for that matter. Zing! Yeah? Well, you're so crazy that people mistake you for Michelle Bachman. Lord knows you're ugly like her. Yeah? You're so fucking retarded, you get your ass kicked on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? With Rick Perry as the fifth grader. Zing! Yeah? I don't know who's slower. You or the PlayStation Network when it had that meltdown. Oh, wait, you. At least PlayStation Network managed to get up on its feet and is still running to this very day. You, on the other hand, still have that Chinese disease called Dragon Butt Syndrome. Yeah? Two camels in a tiny car. Nice try, but that only works in equals three episodes. True, but my fat dick and balls to your chin can actually work in this episode. Ew! No, thank you! What do Newt Gingrich hears about this? You haven't seen the last of me! That's for sure. I'll be seeing you in my nightmares. <laughs> Time for my final thought. A new year will be upon us a lot sooner than we think. A new year can be the first stepping stone or the final coffin nail. A new year gives us another chance to acquire new expectations, plan the preparation, and execute the decision. One thing's for sure, we ain't seen nothing yet. Before I conclude this video, I want to give a big shout out to Kazi Bob and Beth X16, for it has been their positive feedback and excellent ideas that have helped 9SOD come back with a vengeance. I only ask of you to subscribe to not only both of them, but also to me as well, if you like any of our stuff. I hope that's really not too much to ask. In the interest of the new year that will be arriving very shortly, I'm going to be generous, and I'm going to give you viewers a chance to lay it on me when I ask you the following question. 
What do you want to see in 2012? Leave your responses in the comment section below. <laughs> but thanks for watching another episode of 9SOD. And I be Dave, also known as Military Brat 81, signing off.